It's a rivalry of two schools that are really close in, in location, and they're really close. The president's close, the provosters are close, and our kids are really close. We play a lot together in the, in, the, in the summertime. They know each other, they see each other in the neighborhood all the time, and it's neat. You know, you got North Carolina, Duke, Ohio State, Michigan, but I don't think either one of those teams walk to the game. So we're that close. I think it's great. I think it's great for both universities, it's great for the community, and we look forward to having a good game. Well, it means a lot, you know, the proximity of the schools. You know, we can walk to each other's school. The kids all know each other. The coaches know each other. We're good friends. Um, the fans probably know each other. It's a great rivalry, one of the best in the country. It's the NEC's most storied rivalry, LIU and St. Francis, New York. Their decades-long encounters have featured some of the league's most scintillating performances and showcased some of its greatest talent. Today, another chapter will be written in the famed Battle of Brooklyn when the Blackbirds and the Terriers take the court next. Been aggressive in the early going. Ricky Cadell, the senior, with the rebound. He's seventh in the NEC in scoring and loves to do that and one. Johnson gets the roll. With a spin move that time, reverse pivot. Off the bench. On Yechi. Hits it. Both teams kind of starting to go down low right now in the early going. Digging down, Akeem Bennett. One of the better all around players in the league. That three. Go for Stefan Karunicic. Side to Alexander Harrington, and he's turned away. Cadell for three. Get it! Brickman for three. Got it! He is some tough freshman that's making an enormous difference, mostly with his passing, but he can also do that, knock him down. Ricky Cadell, the senior, Bronx native. He had 21 in the battle for Brooklyn last year, and he hits again for St. Francis. They tie it up at 16. 80 free throws this year. Good strip by Kyle Johnson. Johnson, no, but tipped home by C.J. Garner. How good has he been in the early going with blocks and tips? He is solid. He is going to have a terrific career, Matt Mill. Dre Calloway, the backup point guard, hits it, and he's fouled. That was Dre Calloway for C.J. That's more your style. Yeah. And it's in. Wow. Travis Nichols doing work on the board. Uh, Nichols has been really good off the bench lately. Really good. Alasaware hits it, and he's fouled. And seventh turnover. Garner to Hicks. Oh! Alasaware! How about that? Climbing high in transition is Jamal Alasaware. Wow! That was big time. Galloway, leaning in. Galloway. The Don Fridays, there's a ton of guys. Strong move by Jamal Alasaware. He's starting to put his fingerprints on this game, but that play was made by the good feed by Kyle Johnson. He has six. Perunicic, good answer. Their attitude and approach has been really good. They've moved the ball well. Here's another good pass. Then it's three. Good. Three. A little misdirection that time. Home, and now Julian Boy starting to get into it. He's first in the NEC in rebounding. And there he is! Not knocking him down either. There's Culpel, he can shoot it. From deep! Nichols. Johnson. It finally goes down for Travis Nichols. Keeping it alive, and we're talking about the rebounding of LIU, and there's St. Francis again. Working it on the offensive glass. He's in the middle of the pack trying to secure an NEC tournament berth. The top eight teams will make it. Akeem Bennett and Juan. LIU with their best team in many years, about 12 years. Julian Boyd. Well, C.J. Garner got into the teeth of the defense and then drew attention and was able to just lob it up for Boyd to finish back. That's what Boyd just did to get another possession. Julian Boyd is fouled. Karunicic, going strong. There they go on the glass. Julian Boyd. Olasa Ware. What a move. And one. 
Kyle Johnson. Johnson. Callaway trying to weave his way through, and he does. Good job. A confident Ray Callaway played well. There's Bennett seeing the floor. Head is up. Nichols. Got it! Ty or take the lead. Little zone defense. Bennett's three. Got it! Another three. Can they work the glass? A little screen. His three. Got it! Garner finds Brickman, two point guards in the game for LIU. A oh, nice spin underneath for Kenny Onyechi. Plus six in the turnover category. David Hicks, the senior. Travis Nichols. Mr. Freeze, that is going to be the key. Brickman banks it in. He has been quiet, though. He got the previous possession, he got the assist. And that time to finish. Julian Boyd is back in for Jim Ferry. He got it, and he's fouled. Callaway for three. Nichols again. Yeah, I really like the way Travis Nichols has played. He's been great lately off the bench, and he's doing it here in the second half. A good mix in his game. He can shoot it, and he's physical on the glass. The weave up top. Olasaware. Wow. Changing directions. These bigs of LIU can, they're just not down on the block. They got versatility in their games. Bennett fading away. A little lean back, a little fat Joe that time. <laughs> Tied at 61. Word. Julian Boyd. Callaway, yep. Here he is. The pass. Wow, what a dish to Johnson. Akeem to Akeem. Johnson. Excellent job of Kyle Johnson to show up in the vision of uh, Julian Boyd that time. Battle of Brooklyn was two overtimes last year. St. Francis won it. Bennett. And the foul. Garner, too strong. David Hicks left open. His three is good. We're tied again. Six minutes left. Boyd, remember, LIU has clinched an NEC tournament berth. St. Francis still trying to get in. Hicks, get it! 71-68, LIU. Perunicic. Ho ho! 12 seconds, 10 on the clock, gotta work quick. Callaway with a good look inside to Johnson. It sure was the way he dropped it down below. Tim Johnson's got a front of him. Callaway. Garner, got it! The three is made. Bennett, four, three. <laughs> Out of two. Oh, he nearly lost it on the baseline. Terriers can tie or take the lead. They can also hold for the last shot. Two timeouts remaining. I wouldn't hold for the last, though, Dave. You got to give yourself more than one opportunity to win this game. Cadell in trouble when you're behind. St. Francis down two. 15 seconds left. Cadell for three. Bennett rejected. Johnson ties it up. LIU calls time with 7.3 seconds left. How many times is it not the initial shot, but the offensive rebound after that to the big basket that makes all the difference? And St. Francis competed in this game all game long because of their ability to rebound the basketball. So it's only fitting that St. Francis ties it up here late with their ability to rebound the basketball. No fouls. Corner. 
Garner. Got it! It's over! LIU survives! 82 to 80! CJ Garner! What a game. Here's another look at the game-winning basket by C.J. Garner. He was the inbounder of the basketball. Boyd flashed up, he gave it back, and then there's just not enough time to make, be clever. Let your one cre most creative player make something happen, and that's what C.J. Garner did. Wow. He was great all game long, and he capped it off with a huge, huge play. LIU wins their 20th game of the year, and it's only mid-February. 20 and 5, 12 and 2 in first place in the NEC. And Tara has our Ruby Tuesday player of the game. No surprise here. One second left on the clock, and you put up, is it safe to say, the biggest shot of your life? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Uh, it feels good. Uh, we came out pretty strong. Uh, I had an all right game. I knew I wanted the ball at the end, coach gave it to me, and I did what I did. When it left your fingers, did you know it was good? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Last year, Julian Boyd wasn't on this floor. What does he do for this team, having him back? He does everything. You saw how he came out in the second half, grabbing boards, going up strong, killing him in the paint. That's what he does. Me and him were both on the bench last year. I sat out. Me and him used to talk about how the season's going to go, and it's great to have him back. You needed this game for the rivalry, but more important for the postseason. What can this team do as you look ahead to the playoffs? Um, if we play how we're supposed to play, um, and that's to our abilities, we can go pretty far, you know what I'm saying? Coach tells us to stay level-headed, and you know what I'm saying, don't get out of control, just do what we do. CJ, go enjoy this one with your team. Thanks Thank so you. much. Dave? LIU wins the Battle of Brooklyn, an absolute thriller. CJ Garner is the MVP. He receives the Lye Lynch Trophy, named for the uh, former athletic directors for both schools. and. Uh, what a game, Capper. It, it was one of the, the most entertaining games I've seen at any level this season, and, and for a long time, this Battle of Brooklyn never lets us down. Five and double figures for St. Francis. Akeem Bennett had a double-double, 21 points and 10 rebounds. Four and double figures for LIU, led by Julian Boyd's 19 points. But C.J. Garner's basket at the end gave him 12 points and the winning margin here on the road. LIU leads the country with 11 road victories and they are still in first place in the conference with a 12 and two record. It is their 20th win of the year. Once again, our final score, LIU 82, St. Francis of New York 80. Coming up at 2 p.m., Mama takes on FDU in a Garden State Rivalry Series matchup. This telecast is a copyrighted production of the Northeast Conference and was produced in association with P.S. Wolf Media. What a game today. 24 lead changes, 19 ties, and LIU wins it on the road 82-80 over their longtime rivals, the Terriers. For Tim Capstraw, Tara Petrolino, and our entire crew, this is Dave Popkin saying so long from Brooklyn Heights, the Blackbirds keep on sailing.